Okay, welcome back guys. Um, this is the third section and this is where we're moving on to finger picking, which is using the right hand to pick individual strings as opposed to using the hand to just strum all the chords, which is all the strings. Nice easy flow. A bit more difficult picking individual strings. Okay, now if you remember what we did in the last video, we did the D, C and G chords. Okay, cap over them again. First finger on the second fret on the D string. Second finger, which is your middle finger, on the E string, the highest D, on the second fret, and then your third finger on the B string on the third fret. Okay, and you're keeping that third finger where it is, and you're moving your first finger to the D string on the second fret, your middle finger to the A string on the third fret, and then you're putting your little finger onto the very highest string the E on the third fret. And the D is just moving the first and the second finger up a string each. So your first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, your middle finger, your second finger goes to the E string on the third fret. Okay. And like I said you should have really practiced those gone over and over and over them to the point where it's boring almost. Um, and the reason for that is you've got to get yourself used to those chords because what we're going to go to next is a bit more difficult. It's going to be using the right hand. The reason I'm showing you this is to get used to your hands doing different things at the same time. Okay? Now, finger picking takes a while to get used to. Now, some of you will use a pick, others will use their fingers. It just depends on how you prefer to play. I'm going to use my fingers just so you can see the. Um, the exact strings that I'm picking. I'm going to change my angle a little bit so you can see, get a better view. Okay. And now, the first chord that we're going to be playing is the D, which I showed you, okay? Which is that D. Now, it's fairly simple this song. If you don't know it, you will. Um, most of you, I imagine, will already know this song, okay? Now, you're picking with your, if it's easier to pick all your fingers, I'm using my thumb, this string which is the G. Sorry, this is the D string. The G is what you're on with this hand, I meant to say. Um, so you've got the finger on the G, on the E, and on the B for the D chord. Okay, so you're picking the D string with your thumb or pick twice. Okay, but you're doing it in that rhythm, okay? Okay, so you're keeping the D chord on while you're doing this, and then you're going to go in, I'm using my second finger and my first finger to pick the B string, which is the second from the bottom, and then straight after that, the G, which is third from the bottom, so it goes, some of you will recognise that already, as, okay, so, G, uh, D, D, B, G, D, D, B, G, D, D, B, G, D, D, B, G. Okay, so keep doing that over and over again to get the uh, rhythm and tempo in your head. Okay, simple as that. Now what I'm going to do is move it up to the C, if you remember what that is. Same thing again, but instead of picking the D string with your thumb or the pick, you're going to be picking the A string. Okay, so it's going to go. You're still picking the B and the G with these two fingers or your pick, but instead of picking the D, you're picking the A. So it's going to sound like this. Now, what I did in the middle of there was obviously you've got the first four notes. One, two, three, four, and then you play that, the G string, open. Okay? And that's when you go on to the C. Now I did there, after the, uh, after playing the C, I did an open D. Okay? So, go cap over that again slowly. So you've got D, D, G, open G, 
the string, it open basically means you're just playing it without putting your finger on any frets. So you have the open G. Playing the D open. Playing twice on the th your finger on the third fret on the A string. Remember the C? Okay? And then back onto the B and the G. Okay, that's going to look very confusing now. So I'll show you from this view as well. So you've got D, D, B, G, moving up to the C, but playing D open, the G, sorry, open, okay? G and the D open. Then we're on to the C, which is the A string, okay? twice. Okay, so we'll go with that very, very slowly. Ready? Okay, so it's, at the minute the point is I'm very confused and you be all over the place like, what? What the? What are you doing? But trust me, keep going over. I'm going to go over again just to show you. So you've got the D, I'm going to go as close as I can so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so you see E, A, D, G, B, and E. Okay, so you've got the D string. Okay. Again. Now is Sweet Home Alabama, which in full version it sounds. Okay, now I'll show you what I did there. So obviously we've got the ones that we've just done. And now what we did here was your index finger, your first finger, was a hammer on is basically, um, and you literally hammer your finger onto a. So if you look at this, you're going. Just push it on hard and fast to make it that sound. Okay, that's it. Open, hammer. Open, hammer. Open, hammer. Okay, and pull is when you've, you're on the string, you just pull off. So instead of plucking the string, you're pulling off to make the sound. Now what you do to make this part, you go hammer on, pull off. But we're just not, we're not doing the pull off yet, we're just doing a hammer on. Hammer on to the second fret on the A string. Then we're going to hammer on to the second fret on the D string. Then we're going to pull off on that one. Okay, so hammer on on the A, hammer on on the D. Off on the D, hammer back on to the A. Okay. Now you, a lot of people don't actually hammer on to that, which is probably best if you don't actually think about that. So you just do hammer on, hammer on, pull, play on the second fret. The A string, don't have a play, and then play it open. Or you can um, pull off if you prefer, I pull off. Okay, so hammer on, hammer on, pull, play, pull. So you get a little sound. Slowly now, so you can play along. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Okay, and then the 
second part of that is okay, and the song it was on this part. What we're doing there is I'm hammering and pulling again. Now the strings I'm using are these two. With the D and the G. Okay, the G is always open. No, the D is always open, sorry. So you just go in, hammer onto the second fret and the G. Okay. But the way it plays is you don't actually hammer it on straight away. You just play it and pull off. Okay, so. On the second, it was still, this the only string you're playing on here with your this hand, your left hand, is the G. The, this string here, which is the G, it did the D. Sorry, always stays open. You don't you don't put any um, notes under that, so it's. to show you how simple it is to go from playing very basic things to moving on to an actual song which is to tell you the truth that's not an easy song to play um, so don't get hung up if you can't play that yet because it is quite a difficult song to play especially if you're a beginner which is this is the beginner section um, but I've just shown you so remember to practice just the D the C and the G okay and if you have any problems with anything you've seen so far in this video all you have to do is email us or request a, uh, a video chat through Skype or how, how, whatever system you use. Um, message us to YouTube, um, whatever suits you best. Just get in contact with us if you need any help and we'll be there to give you all the help and advice that you need. Um, so remember, don't get hung up if you're struggling a lot with the Sweet Home Alabama, the actual finger picking, because it is very, very difficult. Um, I certainly wouldn't have done it when I started. Um, but yeah, so best of luck with that and we'll see you in the second part of the beginners video. We'll be facing a lot of different chord progressions and what a chord progression is. Um, bar chords, which are a big, big thing, especially if you're into rock music or um, acoustic playing. Um, and we'll, do a, we'll, do, we'll go further into actual acoustic playing and hammer and pause and different vibratos and how things work so um I'll start to mix it up a bit make it a bit more interesting for you so um but very best of luck with everything that you're going to be practicing there remember to do the D C and G chords just practice them to get your body and your hands used to playing chords and switching and doing different things okay and um don't forget to message us if you need anything or request a video chat um so we can do one to one or group lessons if you prefer, whatever you prefer. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and best of luck. See you next time.